What's going on, everybody? Ian back with another video. Today, we are going to, by the way, welcome to my floor. Um, whatever. There's a lot down here, so I figured instead of just hauling it up to the sh table up here, I just sit down on the floor. And uh, so here we go. This is the <clears throat> last uh, movie shelf that I have. So I'm going to be going through these. Most of these are DVDs. There's some uh, miscellaneous Blu-rays in there. Hopefully this PlayStation is not too loud. I am in the midst of going to go play God of War um, when I get done with this. So let's get into it. First movie I had to watch three times about to actually appreciate the comedy in it. And now it's really it's really good. It's, uh, it's Tropic Thunder. Signs, excuse me for that. This is, in my opinion, the best M. Light Shyamalan work right there. Hilarious. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I'm going to go, I'm going to, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go through speed kind of through these. Um, because I have a lot. Fury. Really good war film. Some of these, like this one, I forgot I had. Some of these are just, it's like Christmas morning. Cold Creek Manor, which is really good. We've got the remake of Red Dawn, which is decent. And then we have a classic 80s film, Red Dawn. Another classic, They Live. Out of the Furnace. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Hills Have Eyes, the unrated version. This is the remake. And then Hills Have Eyes 2, another unrated version. Next pile, Triple X. Blu-ray. The Return of Xander Cage, Triple X 2, which is okay. Ah, my my Robin Williams, well, part of my Robin Williams. Jack. Classic. This is Doubtfire. Defiance. That's in my... Ooh. Flyboys. Underrated war film. Ooh, pretty. Lone Survivor. Awesome. Ooh, good. Black Hawk Down. Get Smart. Hilarious. A classic Schwarzenegger film. Jingle All the Way. One Hour Photo. One of Robert Williams' best work right here. One of the superb... Creep factor right there. Ah, this one's... That's mm, all right. Old dogs. I just watched this uh, just because I'm an NFL fan. Draft day. Looking forward to... That's tomorrow. be interesting how they do it. Blindside. This this is awesome. If you're into hockey at all, you should... You, you should have... You, you've already should have watched this movie. It's Mystery Alaska. Bridesmaids, Miracle at St. Anna, this is fun, Death Sentence, Wedding Crashers, that's a fun one, Sixth Day, if you're a Schwarzenegger fan, go and get this movie and watch it, I've got Olympus Has Fallen, I have London Has Fallen. I do not have Angel Has Fallen. It's okay. And then, ooh, this is a fun one. Bloodfather. Mel Gibson's, maybe his latest, some of his latest, like, theatrical work. So we're going in for some more. Jumanji RV double feature. I only got it for Jumanji RV. It's not the best. Class of 1984. Reno 911, the movie. Ooh, this one's a fun one. I gotta crack this one open tonight and watch all four of them, right? Tremors, the attack pack. Has all four Tremors, but I know there's more too, so that's the first four. Open range. Django Unchained. Very long. I thought it could have been shorter, but Quentin Tarantino likes to put all this stuff. Not a huge fan of Tarantino. I've got. 
a few of his movies that I could actually stomach, I guess. 310 to Yuma. This is one of my first DVDs I've ever bought. Silverado. Ah, Pale Rider. Avatar. Looking forward to the sequels. That's a good one. Elysium. Fun one. Cowboys and Aliens. Another good one. War of the Worlds. All right. This is very... I never really see this talked about. This is a very underrated sci-fi horror. It's called Pandorum. I'll give you a brief little synopsis. So not... Blah, 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 whatever it's called. <laughs> I can't talk. Quarantine's getting to me. Uh, what was I saying? So basically, uh, this is like a horror sci-fi film, uh, basically with Ben Foster. If you don't know, he's from like the Mechanics 310 to Yuma. Really good actor. One of the best I like. I enjoy his work. He doesn't do enough of it, I don't think. Um, but uh, or he doesn't get the recognition he deserves, I should say. So this one is basically is uh, they find an abandoned ship in space, and they go on the ship realizing everyone's dead and there's something wrong here and that's all i'll really say um uh, not really gonna say too much but that yeah, just go and watch this triple feature robocop the chron the riddick trilogy pitch black dark fury and chronicles of riddick i never saw dark fury it was animated though this is the this is actually pretty dang good uh for a re not really a remake, but you know how they're just they they money grab and call that stuff. Riddick is actually pretty damn good. I just watched this one not too long ago. Snowpiercer, awesome. And the Clint Eastwood collection. It's got fistful of dollars for a few dollars more. Hang them high and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Working my way here. Ooh. This is this is awesome. Will Ferrell, Saturday Night Live. This is number three. Here's the first two. Best of Chris Farley. Kick-Ass 1. Kick-Ass 2. Make a mess here. The Resident Evil collection that I own. I got Extinction. Retribution. Afterlife. The final chapter. And then here's 1 and 2. All right, last, oops, last row here. Don't breathe, which is a pretty good one. Get hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. My Chris Farley collection. That's Beverly Hills Ninja. If you've ever seen any of these Chris Farley collections, go watch them. Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, and Almost Heroes is very underrated. End of watch. And then a classic point point break. The, the, the new one is just terrible. Don't watch point break, the new one. It's just terrible. American Ultra. Step Brothers. Blade Trinity. Blade 2. Blade. Ooh, these are fun. Wrong turn. We've got Due Date. This is fun. This is fun. If you're a Star Wars nerd, go watch this. This is hilarious, fanboys. No Escape. Under It's all right. Ooh, this was a good one. I like this one. This is Doomsday, and I forgot I had this one. That's a good one. Primeval, Primeval. I can't I don't, Primeval? 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 About the uh, Gustav, the crocodile in Africa, the most prolific serial killer in Africa. Twenty-two Jump Street. Sorry, these are out of order. Twenty-one Jump Street. Those are both great. We've got Purge Election Year, Purge Anarchy, and just the Purge. The Crazies. Go watch that one. That's a good one. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Cloverfield. I didn't watch the third one. I, I heard it wasn't very good. Taken. This is the only one you need to watch. The other the three, three more, two more are not very good. Lights Out. Good one. 
Last few campaign with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. Hostage. This book by Robert Christ, I believe his name is. Awesome. Go read the book, then go watch the movie. They're they're both great. Tears of the Sun, one of my favorites when I was a kid. Oh, this one's great. Whole nine yards. If anyone's seen this, let me know because it's hilarious. We've got the, the Mummy Collector set. So this has the Mummy, Mummy Returns, and Scorpion King. And this is the Mummy, the third one. All right, last few. The Mechanic. The Mechanic Resurrection. Cobra still in the wrapper. Wow, this might be worth some money. Oh, Cliffhanger. If you want a romp and stop in good time, go watch Cliffhanger with Stallone. And the last one, this one was very underrated. I loved it, actually. It's The Shallows. That's like a shark movie. All right. That's all I've got. I got nothing else. Um, take care, everybody. Stay safe.